everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your uh, third week of December reading start from the 15th through the 21st of December 2019. This is going to be for the sign of Aries. So let's see what's coming for Aries people for this week time. Um, starting today, let's see what are the energies coming for you for, uh, for this week time. Um, while I'm shuffling the cards, let me remind you it is going to be a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So just pick whatever is resonating with you in your situation and leave the rest. <clears throat> For a personal reading, you can definitely reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. <clears throat> Excuse me for that. So let's begin. Let's see what's coming up for you. <clears throat> Eight of Wands paired up with <clears throat> the world. Ace of Pentacles. And, okay, these two cards wants to come up. Seven of Wands and Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Underneath the deck, you do have the Strength. Underneath that, you do have the Hierophant. Underneath that, you do have the Moon. Underneath that, Page of Wands. Underneath that, Three of Swords. Underneath that, the Emperor. It seems like, um... um <clears throat> It seems like which whichever path you have chosen late like recently is um is is going to be uh, <clears throat> I don't know I'm picking up energy of a person who has to be on their own journey um in terms of like you know I feel like you know you might have chosen a path be that in your love life, be that in your career, be that in your, you know, work life or home life. Um, whichever path you are basically choosing right now, it seems like your <clears throat> it, it is going to be pretty much your own journey. I feel like you will feel like, you know, people are not supportive around you. You would feel like, you know, there there is, a, you know, um, it's like, you know, people would basically, it's not that they are not supportive of you, but it's just that they don't want to see you grow. And they might not be, you know, helping you towards, you know, that, that, uh, um, you know, they would not be helpful in your journey, I would say, because I, it seems like, um, you will have to be alone in, in this particular journey of yours, be that in finances, be that in your personal growth or whatever, it seems like you will have to go on your own, um, which is definitely going to be, uh, something that will require a lot of courage from your end, because you will have to be like you know um sticking to a path or sticking to a goal and continue moving forward because otherwise like you know if you start feeling like you know um uh, you know they are not going to be you know around you or they are not going to be supportive of your this decision trust me then it's like, like it's, you will never get what you want because um at times what happens is like you have to walk your own path and um regardless of who is you know going to be your partner in that you know uh journey of yours but it seems like uh if and only if you're focused if and only if you're consistent if you are if and only if you are motivated to go for it uh nobody in the world can stop you and once you reach there trust me everybody would start coming back again like you know they will be like you know cheering you up and stuff just that maybe the path <clears throat> excuse me maybe the path that you're choosing is basically um for some of you, it applies. If it applies to your love life, it seems like you know it is going to be something. Maybe you, for some of you, you might be you know um, getting married or getting you know in a committed relationship with a person who is maybe out of your religion. Uh, there is something which is like you know maybe not so acceptable within you know within a society. So it is definitely going to be something of that sort where people are going to be very you know. Um, um, very uh, cute, like careful, I would say, because they, they don't want to get themselves into something which uh, like which society would not accept. Uh, you know, so it's going to be something like that. I don't know what it could be for because uh, you know I'm reading it for so many people out there, so it would be different for different people. But I feel like uh, you will have to kind of you know go against the the you know the general flow or the you will have to go against the masses in one way or the other. Which is why you will have very less support with you. But I do see you uh, leaving behind that tension. And you are going to move forward. Carry on your journey. And be strong. Be courageous enough. And that's exactly what's going to bring you whatever you are looking for. Whatever you are working towards. Um, 
but I feel like you know you will be you know um, let's take one more card from the top of the deck <clears throat> for some of you it could be you know for those of you who can relate with this situation in, in their love life it seems like uh, um, If you are leaving a partner, or if you are leaving behind a situation where you were, you know, in a toxic relationship, um, it seems like, you know, again, like, you know, you, you, uh, you will have to, you know, if you really want to come out of a relationship, which is toxic, you might be, you know, um, you might have been in this relationship just because like, you know, what people are going to say, what are going, what are they going to think about it? If I get divorced, if I leave a partner, how they are going to respond to it. But it seems like, you know, now you're tired of it. You really want to pursue what you really want um, without giving a shit to what other people will say or do or whatever. Because you really want to have your own stability. You really want to be a stronger person in general. And you really feel that, you know, leaving behind this person could bring you that. And maybe that's the reason, again, like, you know, whether people support you or not, this time you are going to do what you feel like doing and that's that's uh, definitely going to get you what you want um if it applies to the people who are you know maybe single and they are like maybe you are in love with a person who is not you know uh, from the same religion or same you know um, maybe uh, area or country maybe that could be an issue for some of you as well but you know whatever the issue is it seems like you are having the courage during this week time to take the step forward go for it without thinking what people are going to respond to that decision of yours because you have understood the fact that you know it's like um it's just like you know the journey is not so you know easy but once you reach there everything is going to fall into place and you are ready to take that journey like you are ready to step into that you know path and you know continue doing till you reach your you know your desired outcome so um it's going to be a beautiful uh, week in that term. Uh, let's take some clarifiers uh, for all these cards here to find out what else we can pick up from these cards here. <coughs> for those of you who are... Um, For some of you, you might be talking to someone um, who is not, you know, um, who might be living at a distance from you right now. And uh, whatever you're talking about with this person is, um, it's like, you know, you are planning your future with this person maybe. Because with the Ace of Wands coming twice, you really want to give a shot to a new thing that you want to start. Maybe for some of you, it's like, you know, you are taking the courage to leave a relationship and, you know, get into the new one that with the person that you are talking to right now. You really want to pursue that connection. You really want to leave behind the connection that you are in right now. And um, again, it's it's again going to be the same, you know, uh, push and pull within you that you're going to, you know, decide about, you know, what should you do in this particular situation? Should you accept the offer that is coming your way from a distant land, from a, dis from a different person who is not, you know, your usual type maybe, who could, who could be, you know, somebody from a different, uh, you know, culture. So I do see that happening a lot and it's like, um, um, but I feel like, you know, whatever it is, you are ready to go for it. Whether you are leaving a person behind or whether you are single and you know, you just want to pursue this connection, you are definitely going to pursue this connection because there is this, uh, um, you know, there is this passion that you feel when you talk to this person, there is this, you know, attraction that you feel, You there is this, you know, um, it seems like, you know, you are, you are picking a very positive vibe and, you know, you do see the, the growth, you do see the potential in this relationship that you are having with this particular person in your life. And, um, you really want to pursue your dream in one way or the other. Like, you know, it's, it's just that you have to go for it no matter what. So, um, yeah, you really want a fresh start. Um, and it seems like you really want to. Whatever the first start could, you know, a uh, new start could be, um, it's something that you are definitely passionate about. For some of you, it could be your studies. For others of you, it could be your, your um, you know, like I said, it could be a person that you really want to, you know, uh, start a new with. And, um, but I don't see anybody can stop you right now. You are on the go and you are just, you know, um, 
not ready to take shit from anybody in your life. Be that your family, be that your close friends or your, you know, your colleagues or whatever. You are just, you know, um, you are just going to go for it. Like without having any, you know, uh, nobody can stop you at this point in time. Yeah. For some of you, I do see that you are definitely leaving. Like, you know, who, uh, who um, I do see your, uh, you leaving your partner because you are done with it. You are so done with it and you really want to. Like I said, you are going to end a painful cycle for others of you. Like, you know, you are ending a cycle being single and now you are entering into this cycle, which is definitely, again, like I said in the very beginning, there is going to be this something attached to this offer, this new thing that you want to start, which is going to be something out of the norms. And um, you you really have to deal with that situation where you know that people are not going to be supportive of you. But since you are so passionate and willing to go for it, you are going to do that. You are taking that, you know, plunge. You are taking that risk. You are ready to, uh, you know, go for it and, you know, see for yourself. You are not going to stop yourself be just because, you know, certain people or certain group of people are not going to be happy with your decision. You are just going to make that decision and go for it. So let's take one card from the advanced historical cards. Let's see what else can we get for you for this uh, week time. <clears throat> I can't see that card that, that's down there. So uh, I will not, you know, pick the card right now. I will pick it up later on. But I can see these two cards here. This, make the effort, and then there is this, you deserve love or something. So I'm just going to include both the cards here, because I could see both the cards. So, yep. You deserve love, you are lovable, make the effort. And that's exactly what I'm seeing you doing, during this week time. You are definitely going to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And um, that's exactly what you are doing, during this uh, week time. Um, for some of you, you might be going against your family or something because you really want to pursue this connection. You really want to go for that connection. You believe that this is what you want and, um, you will be like, you know, starting something new in that, you know, area. So I do see that happening during this week time. I do see you communicating a lot with this person, planning, uh, how you want to pursue this connection, how you want to go for it. Um, for some of you, it could be just, you know, it could be, um, it could be, you know, it could be a, you know, a thing in your, in your work life or it could be a thing in your, you know, your uh, studies, uh, you know, related to your studies and all. Something that you really want to pursue, something that you are very passionate about. But I feel like whatever it is, it is going to be something new that you have not tried before. And you're really looking forward to make that decision and, you know, just go for it. So I do see you... Um, during, during this week time, like, you know, today till maybe two, three days on words and it's like, you know, you are going to be communicating with this person, planning things out. By the end of the week, you are ready to take the plunge. You are ready to take the action or, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you people, take care. Bye-bye.